Hummingbird's got a fish. The mud monster hummingbird has a fish. <laughs> it's not a fish. It yeah, it is. Look, it's a fish. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, what kind of trout is this? It's got these like speckles on it. You were sad, you wanted to get out and play. I really want to get there because then I can jump around and snip around. Oh, 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 So we stopped at the so jackpot, y'all. Look at this. They're so good. Mountain huckleberries. They're so good, Dad. Oh my goodness. They're so mm. good. Taste them. There are so many. Just bush after bush. Tracker, what are you doing, Tracker? Get out of there. Aren't they good? It very randomly. It tastes like um, banana runts, like those runts candies. <laughs> yeah, right. <the> bananas. <laughs> it randomly it does that have that essence a weird, of that flavor. Yeah, yeah. I like that. 
Yeah, I like the other one. Are you doing the bear challenge? <laughs> Can you do it? Wait, how do you win? How do you win? You eat the most berries and get really fat for winter. Just uh, like the bears do. Uh, I, I won't win this. Axel's gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> look at this huckle bear. Oh, no. Daddy, look at this huckle bear that mommy picked. Oh, that's huge. It's huge. All right, we made it. Let's set up camp. Boy, I tell you, the way that girl, Agent Hummingbird, screams, you think somebody was dying, but Agent Tracker just slipped out of her collar. I know. So no, I get it. She's gonna go terrorize the neighborhood. No, she has. They have it. Oh, you we, got her. We need to yeah. untangle it. Oh, oh, good. Right, go. Poor oh, doggy. This bird just attacked Agent Hummingbird. It was it must right. Have a nest. It just. It just attacked you, right there. It just, it, it got a piece of your hair in its mouth. What? I don't know. What? Is it? That's so weird. Wow. Yeah, and it like got a piece of her hair. And I'm cold and there's no fires oh, allowed. Oh, Junker. So Did you make it? You I stayed mean, alive, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. I don't remember when we did this with River. I have long hair. Oh, just like mm. my new hairstyle. It's so cute. <laughs> hey, my new survival baby, and I survived the trip to the campsite. Dinner's still frozen, so I'm gonna put it in the lake here and uh, let it thaw out a bit. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, babe, I see about 20 mosquitoes swimming. Do you like to be at the lake? Do you like to be at the lake? Uh, uh, um. Um. Do you hear the bird? <laughs> I love you. You're laughing. Oh. 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 So where'd I put that chicken at? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, ah, it floated away. <laughs> Giant monster trout took it. Oh, there was a, there's a little fish. There's a little trout underneath the chicken. <laughs> All right, that's thawed enough. <laughs> So I just got this new uh, cooking set and it's got a fry pan with a handle. Look, little handle tucks in there. Tracker, quiet. Screws in just like that.
useful to this food. Mm -hmm. I have not mm. eaten any yet. Mm. So grateful. All right, since we don't have a campfire, Ooh. we'll have to roast our marshmallows on this. <laughs> we can't have campfire because there's a burn ban right now, so. My sticks catch you on fire. <laughs> it's kind of full. All right, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Marshmallow cooked on propane and butane mix. Mmm. Not near as good as the campfire. <laughs> so Agent Rainbow's asleep. We're all gonna watch alone. And then we're gonna go to sleep and the real adventure begins tomorrow. Good morning, Junker. Yeah, I see her. Good morning. What is that thing? How you doing, huh? Hi, baby. How you doing? He slept for 10 hours almost. Wow. Yeah, he's... That's just crazy. Nice. So crazy. And when he woke up, did he pee in his potty? Yep. So, Agent Rainbow's potty trained. <laughs> he him now. He's potty learned. Potty learned, whatever. Yeah, we train. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that whip. Pee in that potty. <laughs> so, all this morning, Agent Hummingbird, for like an hour, was like, I'm so hungry. While we were in the tent. As soon as we get out of the tent, she sees her fishing pole. And all of a sudden, she says, Oh, Daddy, uh, before we eat, can I go fishing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny how the hunger goes away as soon as, as soon as fishing is an option. So coming soon, we've got this Adventure Agent's Camping Titanium Spork. Pretty sweet. I think it'll be here probably in about a month. <clears throat> if you're watching on YouTube, comment below if you like the new logo. It's the traditional A-frame. Pretty cool, with a mountain. So did you just meet a new friend? Mm -hmm. And what's her name? River. Her name is River. So Agent Hummingbird just met a new friend, and as most of you know, Agent Hummingbird's birth name is River, and she just met did a friend that looks like her? she's her age in the next campsite. And, then and she's like, what's your name? I have another friend and she named said, River. River. And they both freaked out. It was so cute. River, and she has another friend named River. Oh my goodness. All right, so the first order of the day is fishing, and we met some friends down here. Why is um, River? I mean, they're friends now, you know, and, and uh, it's actually the dad of the kid whose name is River, and they're gonna teach us how to do a certain kind of fishing we've never done before, so. So we're using these little salmon eggs here. Never done this before, but, uh, Evidently, you just kind of put them on here, like that. Just like that. Hope I'm doing that right. The fish will bite it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so. So I don't have like anything to hold the pole, so we're just gonna prop it up right here on a rock. <laughs> so just watch that, okay? If that pole bends, if it goes like that, grab it okay and if it tries to, if it starts to go out into the water dive into the water and get it okay really? so I got this bell on here and I, I hooked the bell on and I was like oh now we'll hear whenever a fish starts biting as soon as I walked over to the other pole to put the other bell on the bell starts going ding 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 I was like oh that's not real and then <laughs> and then uh I was like, wait a second. yeah <laughs> and then I was like wait a second no it is and I saw the pole going like that but uh, I missed it so, oh, there it is. What is that? 
Oh. What is it? It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. See it? It's big enough to eat. Oh. oh. Do you have yep. that big enough to eat? That's a keeper. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Yep, if, that, if that's like that, we're going to catch a lot more. That's a good fish. Okay, you guys watch those other poles, okay? Look at that rainbow. Oh, that's man. That's so cool. It's Agent Rainbow. It's no, Agent, Agent Rainbow. Agent rainbow yeah. over here. <laughs> so. Yep. Yep, that's about. Uh, it's about 10 inches. Okay. One fish down, many fish to go. <laughs> So we'll have to make a little fish pool here to keep the fish. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. He got one? He yeah. did. Wow. What kind of bird is that? It's coming over here. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. It's huge. That is so is cool. What is it? Garter snake skin. There's garter snakes here, Daddy. Oh nice. Looks like he's coating her in mud. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, no. Oh no. Axel. In her hair. Uh. Oh no. I guess they live here now. I guess so. <laughs> what in the world? Mud people. You... Oh my goodness. I have a hoe. I have a hoe. Asian hummingbird is caped. And mud folks, look at this. You're gonna have to go swimming now, right? <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to go swimming. Well, it's a good thing the shallow water isn't that cold, so. This little. I made her so muddy. This little fish swallowed that hook good. Ugh. You don't want to pull the hook out of the fish that swallowed it like that because it's extreme. I mean, if anything's painful for this fish, it's yanking the hook out of its stomach and just pulling its stomach out of its mouth, right? So you definitely want to humanely kill the fish first, right? then work on getting the hook out. All right, you see that? It's just There's destroying it. its gills. And There's worms in it. Right. Ugh. Now at least see we that? got the hook back. The hook like that. Yeah. Look at that. That's bait. That's the fish's stomach right there. Hummingbird's got a fish. The mud monster hummingbird has a fish. <laughs> it's not a fish. It yeah, it is. Look, it's a fish. Reel it in, reel oh, it in. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, yep, it's a small one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is a different kind of trout. Look at the, oh, oh, what kind of trout is this? It's, it's a, it's, it's got these like speckles on it. Oh, is this a bull trout? Uh oh, yikes. Yeah, I'm not sure. I should know what kind of trout this is, but I don't. But it might be a bull trout which they're endangered here, so we gotta be careful. But it looks like it swallowed the hook again. Ugh. Not again. Whoa. Oh. That's a bull trout, yeah. Is it a bull trout? Man. I think, it looks what like a it. beautiful fish. Ooh. Okay, I need a good pair of needle nose pliers, because it's deep in this thing's throat. Ugh. So this is the trouble with using live bait, is that if it's a lure, They'll spit it out. They'll try. Typically, they don't swallow the lures. But the live bait, it's more tricky for them because they're like, oh, this tastes really good. It's going straight down to the stomach. And it's only after they swallow it that they figure out, oh, now it's hooking in my stomach. There's no way I can get this out. Maybe if I had some tiny needle nose pliers. I really should have brought some. I'm going to do that from now on. But, uh, Sorry, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to kill you. <laughs> See that? That's its stomach. It's hooked on its stomach, but it's dead. So, so I'm gonna keep this for now. I think it's a big find for having it. 
but I'm gonna keep it for now and I'm gonna ask someone if it's a bull trout. If it is, I'm not gonna risk that. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, no, seek it. Agent X just uh, reminded me of something. We can seek it. Brook trout. Okay. Look up there, it's edible. New species. You know if it's edible. Let's try this out. I wanna make absolutely sure. Brook trout. Yeah. Okay. All right, so it's not a bull trout. Now, this still isn't legal size, but whenever I kill it like this, but when, whenever it swallows a hook and we have to kill it, I keep it. Sometimes I will say, well, I don't want to waste its life, so we want to eat it. But really, if you throw this back out in the water, is something else going to eat it? Yeah. Yeah, right? So there's no waste in nature. No waste at all. It's always taken care of, right? But... I consider human beings to be really far more special and unique than any other creature that is on this planet. And from that perspective, I think that we should eat this fish because see, we'll eat this fish, we'll get the nutrition in our brains and our bodies, and we will use that nutrition but, to care you know for other people and to care for this planet. What? I believe intentionally more than any other creature on this planet can. Now that's my responsibility. I need to be held to that. Am I going to use the life of this fish in order to make this planet a better place? A better place for both all these creatures, the fish, the birds, the animals, and myself, and all the people around me? I got to hold myself accountable for that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm a little bit concerned the agent tracker or one of these birds that keeps diving down is going kind of, to come steal one of our fish. So I'm going to put this big flat rock over it to guard our fish cache. Tracker jumped in the kayak. She's scared of these flies that are flying around. She's like, I'm away! And so she just jumped in the kayak, and the kayak's floating away now. Tracker, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going, Tracker? You know she's scared of these flies. And the reason you know is because she is so scared of water, but... She's way more scared of the flies. <laughs> Instead of Lord of the Flies, she's scared of the flies. <laughs> Jumped out of the kayak and he's swimming back. Come on, Tracker. Come on, Tracker. Come on. Come on, Tracker. You made it. Get her. You made it. Get her car. Get her car. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the mud is like knee deep over there. <laughs> oh, and that like this. I like this. Okay. Or can this do that? Alright, ready? I'm gonna push you out. I'm gonna launch you. There you go. So proud of that girl. Proud of this guy too. Well, but not proud of you smacking me in the head with a paddle. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna race to the other side. You ready? I'm gonna win. You ready, Riv? Here we go. Asleep. He is, yep. I'm gonna try to transfer him to the car and we need to hurry up and pack up camp. Yeah, so with the immense difficulty of driving here, with him awake, we're gonna take this opportunity. He is down for the count and we're gonna bust it out, get out of here, and head for a berry patch.
So I'm walking down here, and then I hear a little chittering noise, and there's a squirrel right there. Uh -huh. And then I pick up a rock and throw it at it, and then it skitters up to there on that little tree. And then I throw another one, and it skitters up to there, and then another one, and it skitters all the so way up to So why are you throwing rocks at squirrels? Because I've never eaten a squirrel before. <laughs> and then guess what? He's trying to eat a squirrel. And then it's all the way up there. It's at the tippy top of that tree. Wow. I climb all the way up. I'm to where the tree is like, like this thick. You try to chase a squirrel up a tree. Yes, and I was this far away. I was about to do this to it. It was like here. And then it just jumped off the tree and landed right there and ran away. <laughs> I don't know how it could survive from way up there. All right, Agent X, I appreciate your hunting desire here, okay? What we don't want is for you to injure a squirrel and then it run off in the woods and die. I know, know what I was doing. I eat it. But listen, if, listen, if, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just, listen to me. Listen, please. You talk too much. You need to listen sometimes. Do you understand? Do you understand? Mm hmm Okay, thank you. All right. He does that. It, you, a lot of you have commented, like, Agent Axe is very disrespectful. He, he interrupts. He does a lot. And it's partially because we want to hear his thoughts. We want him to know he can express himself. But it, it's difficult to talk to the camera and correct him at the same time. So that's why you don't see me correcting him because it makes it very difficult, but I need to do it, so I'm correcting him now. Let me finish what I'm saying first, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't say anything until I've finished. Okay, thank you. I don't want you to injure squirrels. Let's learn how to hunt them. Let's practice on dummy squirrels or like bottles or something, cans, you know, so that you know you gotta, you're you good at throwing a rock and you're good at using a sling or whatever we may do, bows and arrows. Like, it's better to practice on moving targets because if it's just always going to stay in the same spot, yeah. Then like it's yeah. like So, but you have to learn how to hit a target that's not moving first. Do all of you Agent Axe and Hummingbird know who Yeshua is? No. Yeah. I don't. You don't? <laughs> Jesus? You've heard of that name? Okay. Somebody said that this person said this. It's something that I found throughout my life to be extremely interesting and helpful. He was talking to a whole bunch of people at this point, and somebody said that he said this. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So, do any of you know anyone who you would consider to be your enemies? Meat bees. Okay, well, we'll take meat bees, all right? <laughs> meat bees have been stinging Cougars. Agent X a lot. Cougars. Cougars, but what about people? Do you know any people who you would consider to be your enemies? Vampires. Vampires, okay. All right. <laughs> vampires are <laughs> people. Meat Cougars yeah. and vampires, it's the best we can do. Do you know anyone who you might consider to be your enemy, Agent Trinity? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me too. I, I definitely have some people who I would put in that category of enemy, meaning someone who is out to get you, who is against you, who wants to harm you, who wants to do bad things to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's typically who we would consider to be our enemies. Now, this person says to love your enemies and to do good to people who would want to harm you. What do you think? You think that's a good idea? I, I mean, know. we can't really do good to the meat bees because if we give them more fish, <laughs> they'll just come after us more. The meat bees, yeah. Because <laughs> we'd be like, you have more food. Yeah. We'll get it from you. Right. No matter what we have to do. So let's take the meat bees. Okay. So how could you both love the meat bees and yet not let them hurt you? They pollinate. They pollinate. Agent just said something interesting. She said they pollinate. So. One way you can love meat bees is to understand that they aren't only just there to hurt you, right? Right. So they, they'll sting us sometimes, but meat bees really aren't out to get you. They're out to Eat get to food, right? To survive, right? Which so, is sometimes you. Which is, well, sometimes, yeah. Like they, they may end up stinging you, but I don't think their intent is really to go out to, to sting you because that's dangerous. You're a big creature. You could kill them, right? You could slap, slap them and kill them. So one way... I think that we could love the meat bees is by respecting them and respecting the fact that they have a powerful stinger and let's not try to get into situations where we might have to end up killing them, right? But should we kill them needlessly? Should we seek them out yeah. and kill them because we yeah. know they're going to hurt us maybe yeah. someday? No. Nah. No. 
So that's one way we can love meat bees, even though they're kind of sometimes seem like they're our enemies. So what about a person? If a person is your enemy, right? Big tech. Like big tech. <laughs> So sometimes you might encounter someone who maybe says really pirates? mean things about you. Pirates, yeah, for no reason. Or somebody who is a pirate and they might want to steal your treasure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if a pirate's trying to steal your treasure, how would you both love the pirate but yet not let them steal your treasure? Put your treasure in a spaceship and send it out to space. Okay, so you should protect your treasure really well. So what if you had to end up stopping a pirate from stealing your treasure? Would you want to like hurt the pirate or kill the pirate? No. I, I, is the treasure worth the pirate's life? I mean, if the treasure no. is your family. But the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. Okay, so if they're trying to steal gold, maybe it's not worth, uh, you know, killing someone or injuring them really badly. Hey, you shouldn't be taking my gold, but I consider your life to be valuable, so I'm not gonna kill you. Or you just taser them and then steal your treasure back and then or run away. Taser. Right, but like, so the taser is just like, you know, it, it's it's shocking them. They're like, <laughs> they go down but you're not taking their life and you're maybe preventing them from stealing, which stealing isn't good, right? Okay, so Agent Axe just pointed out something very difficult. This is a much more difficult situation. What if a pirate is trying to hurt someone you love? So if a pirate's trying to hurt someone you love, would you stop them by hurting them badly or even sadly maybe having to kill them? Okay, but does that mean you hate the pirate? No. If you're stopping them from hurting someone or killing someone who's innocent, does that mean that you're stopping them from doing something that is really, really bad? Mm -hmm. And do you think that maybe, maybe, they might actually appreciate you stopping them from doing something so terrible? Mm -hmm. I know if I lost my mind and went on a, a rampage and became a crazed pirate and started stealing people's treasure and maybe even endangering people's lives and uh, to get treasure, I think that if I ever snapped out of that, and came to a, a more loving reality that I would appreciate it if someone hurt me badly to stop me or even killed me to stop me from, from killing someone else who's innocent or doing something bad to someone else. I would actually appreciate that if I was that pirate and I snapped out of it someday. Right? <laughs> yeah, but if you snapped out of it, then uh, if someone had killed you before then, you would never have snapped out of it. You know what? Okay, so that leads to something very interesting. I actually believe that we actually never die. Our bodies might disintegrate or s cease to exist in the and way we, we see it. And then we forget our previous... I might be a million years old because I forgot my previous life and begin a new <laughs> life and then forgot it. And we don't know, but we do know that we exist. I know that. I believe that. So just like there's no waste in nature, like these fish that we caught and killed and eat, the bodies of those fish may have died, but the energy from the fish has gone into our bodies and it wasn't wasted. We are going to use that energy to live, to thrive, to do good and to love other people around us. Just like the lives of those fish weren't wasted, our consciousness agents will not go to waste. And I believe that the only thing we get to bring with us into the realities that exist beyond is our ability to love. That is the only thing that is eternal, our ability to love. And the first step in love is to believe in love and to receive love. I exist, therefore I am loved. I am loved, therefore I have the responsibility to share the love I've been given with those around me. And so I believe there is a way that you can love your enemy. Remember, even if you have to stop someone from doing something bad, don't do it out of hate. Do it out of love. Don't hate that person. Don't let your heart hate that person. You may have to stand up to people someday. You may have to tell people really rude sounding words like, stop, you're bad. But that doesn't That's, mean... That, that doesn't sound really rude. <laughs> or what you're doing is terrible. Stop. I'm going to stop you. You might have that to threaten some rude. people. That does, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't please, mean... Please, pirate, sir. Yeah, please, pirate, sir. <laughs> please stop, sir. <laughs> or ma'am. Uh, pirate, ma'am. That sounds less... <laughs> <laughs> but don't hate the pirate. Mm -hmm. Don't let your heart get bitter and hate them. Mm -hmm. Protect your heart. Keep your heart in a place of love. Mm -hmm. But you must be willing to speak your truth. Your truth might sound hateful sometimes or mean or rude to some people, but you have to risk offending people in order to speak your truth. And you have to risk hurting people in order to protect other people sometimes. 
and that's just how it is. But love is the key. All right, well, did everybody have fun kayaking on the lake yeah. and picking huckleberries and eating fish? Agent Fish out. <laughs> Agent X out. Agent Trish out. out. Agent X out wet, let me. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Hi, my name is Agent Fish. <laughs> All right, agents, well, remember, until next time, life's an adventure and love is the key and we love you. And we are so glad that you joined us on today's adventure. Remember, take your families out on an adventure. Go exploring, get out into the wild. Adventure forms bonds for your family that you just can't get anywhere else. <laughs>